Hey, what's going on everybody? And welcome to another, 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 another fabulous episode of The Audition with your boy, The Sebastian Alexander Bonet. I am your boy, The Sebastian Alexander. Let me move this camera back, baby. I am all up in my grill. Let me readjust. Let me readjust. Because, honey, you are getting it all. All of my pores and all the flaws and all. But anyway, once again, I am your boy, The Sebastian Alexander Bonet. And thank you most graciously for tuning in to another episode of The Audition with your boy, once again, me, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet. Make sure you subscribe and all of that good stuff and finger me, like this video, pass it along to all your friends. Uh, it would be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciative. Um, so, there is a lot going on and this is just kind of like an encouragement. I'm going to be like really honest right now. Let me move my camera again. Bam. Um, I have been really depressional. Uh, in a depressional state um, for the past like four or five days. Um, not to the point to where like I'm going to commit suicide or anything like that. Uh, but it's just like, you know, I'm 32 years old. Uh, even though I look uh, kind of rough now. And even on my rough days, I still look good. Um... I just have been kind of down about life, about where I, where I thought I would see myself at this point in my career, and then especially where I thought I would see myself when it comes down to love. Um, anybody that kind of knows me or see my blogs know that I'm kind of like an open book. Um, I'm very honest, off the cuff, and I... You know, believe in putting it out there because, you know, whatever has happened to me could definitely benefit, you know, someone else, someone else, or bless someone else because, you know, you never know, you know, you are overcome by the words of your mouth, you know, your testimony. So, you know, this is my thing, you know, I kind of put it out there and, you know, hopefully it just helps someone. So, you know, I'm in the point now where I'm 32 years old, I'm doing all right for myself, but... I want more. I want more as far as a husband is concerned, a, a consistent lover, if nothing else. I want more when it comes down to children. Um, I just want so much more. When it comes down to the lover standpoint, I don't understand why I am not desirable. Um, or not desirable in Tallahassee. It never fails. And, I, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that, had that, that this happens to. You go out of town, chill out, you know, on vacation, whatever the case may be, and you meet the greatest people. The great, in my case, I meet the greatest guys that we have so much in common. But, bitch, we stay, like, like 400 fucking miles away. And it's just like, dude, really? Is this how, how, you know, how the stars have aligned to where I never meet anybody in my area? And, you know, I don't know. I'm not opposed to doing long-distance relationships. So, but, bitch, 400 miles, man, I mean, I could do... No more than like an hour away, two hours away. I can do that. Because, I mean, that's a hop and a skip. You know, you can be spontaneous, head over, whatever, whatever. But, bitch, if I live in Tallahassee and you live in Nazareth, no, ma'am, that's not going to work. So, it's hard for me because, you know, I, I, I think I'm a good catch. I think I'm educated. I think I'm funny. You know, I think so highly of myself, but apparently... No one else does here in this area. And I'm at the point where I'm tired of giving myself physically and not getting the emotional back. You know, I sleep with dudes and be like, you know, maybe if I sleep with them long enough, he'll like me. Or if, you know, I do this, whatever this is. You know, he'll like me. Whatever, like I said, you know. I'm not saying that it's not, because it's not drugs or anything like that, you know. But whatever this is, whatever makes him happy, oh, he'll like me more. And I've come to the conclusion that he likes me for that moment. He likes me for what I am doing at that moment. The freaky deaky shit, the bouncing up and down, the dig, the slobbing on, whatever it is, or pounding the ass, whatever the case, whatever the case may be. And I think this is a universal thing. This is not a gay thing. This is just, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to say self-esteem, but it could very well be that. 
But I'm at the point now where I'm tired of giving myself to people that, one, mean me no good. Two, that, I don't know. I guess it goes back to that old saying, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? I mean, really. I mean, I, I'm just, you know, I, I, I want to be in a relationship. I want to, you know, sex. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love sex. You know, I, I really do, really do love sex. But I think sex is so much more when you are in love with the person you're having sex with. Because even at that time, you don't even have to have sex. It just could be that you're just holding each other or laughing. or It's just so much more intimate, so much more personable. Um, and, I, and I've just been in the past like three days. I just, I feel like nobody wants me. No one cares. And I know that I have friends and family. But I'm not talking about in that regards. I'm talking about romantically. And I just, I just... I just don't, I don't know, I just don't understand why. I, I really don't, and I've just been in really in a bad funk for the past couple of days. And, I mean, it's getting better now. There were some things that kind of got placed in my spirit and placed through other friends, actually on Facebook. And it just kind of blessed me at that point in time. But it, it, it is. It's, it's hard. Um, I don't know. I just... I ultimately want to be loved. And that's it, man. I just want to be loved. I want to be adored. And I have it in such a very long time. And it's, I don't know, it's, 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 it's disheartening. It's, it sad to me. And what utterly pisses me off, it be the ugly bitches that have men. Uh, uh, I don't know, because I know I'm not ugly by any means. Yes, I'm a little sick, you know, and, and I'm still, I'm, like I said, even on my worst day, I'm still sickening. But it'd be the ugly bitches with three eyes and 17 toes and a lumbotomy, you know, that just had, and they have the finest, man. I don't know what it, bitch, r really, I don't know what it is, but. You know, I'm just saying this, you know, I don't know. I guess this isn't words of encouragement. I, I, uh, I need to, I guess, encourage me first before I try to encourage anyone else, but that can't happen because, I don't know, I'm still in my, in my funk. I'm still in my funk. I'm, it's getting better, but, you know. Everybody deserves a pity party every once in a while. It's just that you don't stay in that pity party. You know, I'm giving myself to Sunday. No, actually to Saturday night. Today is Thursday. I'm giving myself to Saturday night because Sunday morning, I'm going to church. And I know I feel better at New Mount Zion and me. Um, so, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. Has anybody ever felt like this? Leave your comments below here on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, yeah, just leave your comments because, you know, I'm just in that funk. I'm try I, I, I was trying to encourage, give you encouragement for what I'm going through, but how can I encourage you if I can't encourage me? You know, so, <sighs> that's really about it, man. I'm just, I just want to be loved. That's it, man. I feel alone. And lonely. And horny. So, <laughs> anyways, this has been another uh, very brief episode of the audition with your boy, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet, sitting here alone and alone. Ciao. Mm.